distinguished panel, ladies and gentlemen. We just heard the chairman of the Japan Airlines speak about uh, what India and Japan can do together. Sir, I think the panel itself speaks volumes about what we can do together. You just said that you are touching 80. I am 44 and another gentleman on the panel from India is much younger. You have the wisdom. We have the workforce. You have experience. We have youthful vigor, which Amitabh just spoke about. You have technology and resources. We have expertise and dedication of mind and spirit. And think when both of them come together, like in case of Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, what can we do? We can achieve miles, and we will be able to move forward. Sir, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our nation's mind today is stretched by new ideas and breathtaking opportunities, some of which Amitabh just spoke about. India is a fascinating story that is evolving by the millisecond. And the only way we know is forward. And that's why we stand before you today and with you, here and now, to unfold the face of a changing, vibrant India that moves reality with imagination. Exploring business opportunity is, but not, our sole agenda today. For back home, we believe that special friendships, the kind that India and Japan share, ought to be kept in constant repair. So here we are to build new bridges and to strengthen existing ones. We have our brush, we have our colors, and we have our palette to paint our paradise. We know that we can do it, but we won't do it alone, and we can't do it alone. We seek your cooperation, the cooperation of friends who believe in our dreams with us. And as I look at Japanese growth story over the decades, much of what, uh, what was spoken about, it unravels for me as a young man, unparalleled businesses, industrial workforce, and indicators that spell success all around despite every possible challenge from nature and humanity, not necessarily in that order. I see that you have converted every challenge into, into fuel soaring aims, lofty aspirations, and a recommitment to take, take this all to the next level, to a higher rung on all planes of existence. And as I understand it, this has happened for a reason, and the reason lies in you, the, the people of Japan. Yours is a country where people live in a continual learning mode. They never really arrive. Journey itself is their reward, while all achievements vis-a-vis -vis adversities are milestones that you pass by. I, sta I stand here as an Indian to applaud your never-say-die spirit. And uh, Indian economy, as uh, was already mentioned, is on an accelerated growth path. We have been growing at between 8 to 10 percent and the challenge really is to grow at that pace over the next 30 to 40 years. And that's also India's plan, uh, whether it's the 12th five-year plan or the plan for the future. To speak very briefly about my state, Haryana that I come from in India has only 1.6% of India's geographical area. We have only 1.9% of India's population. Yet we've grown steadfastly at growth rates that are amazing for Asia. We've grown between about 9.9 percent that we grow now to up to 14 to 16 percent over the last seven years. And this is the only state that has highest per capita income in India, highest per capita investment in India, highest per capita wheat productivity in India, second state to contribute uh, in terms to the food ball of the country and the highest per capita production of milk in India. And we have many other firsts to our credit. We in Haryana manufacture every second car, every third two-wheeler, every sixth tractor, and almost all mobile cranes on Indian roads. We also employ nearly 4% of world's IT and BPO workforce. 
despite manufacturing and service sector contributing to 80% of state's economy, we have not given our leadership in the agriculture sector that I just spoke about. Beginning with Maruti, and, and we have a special relationship with Japanese companies. About 40% of all investment in Haryana comes from Japan. And that perhaps uh, singles, singles us out as a state. Beginning with Maruti Suzuki in the early 1980, we have now uh, the largest presence of Japanese companies uh, perhaps in the entire country. And to talk very briefly about our infrastructure initiatives, some of which Amitabh spoke about at, a, at the national level. We, uh, we have steadfastly uh, invested in, the, in creation of new infrastructure. Uh, in last six years, we've invested uh, about uh, 610 billion Indian rupees uh, in national highway projects in the state alone. We've invested uh, another 2,200 billion Indian rupees, or say 50 billion US dollars, in uh, creating additional sources of energy for the growing demand of industrialization in the state. And address it, to address all legitimate concerns of the investors who may be looking at India as also my state, we are committed to accelerating the simplification of procedures and tax reforms. And Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, we are one of the six states where Japan is our partner. This project uh, has the potential to become hub of a new bilateral economic engagement in the area of manufacturing. And uh, DMIC experts uh, have predicted that in next 30 years, two-thirds of Haryana, which is part of the DMIC influential zone, will have 374% three, increase in industrial production. So that is the state that you are looking at from purely DMIC's perspective. And uh, it is a state that is committed to reform. It is a state that has grown. It, ha it is a state that has surpassed uh, its intention. All uh, possible predictions. So friends, uh, I invite all of you to a youthful, dynamic, and self-confident India and Haryana. I also invite you to visit Haryana. Also, if possible, please spare time to a special session with focus on Haryana between uh, 6 to 7 today. And I also invite you to join us in this historic journey of creativity and enterprise, DMIC of which is an important part, and be part of India's growth story. Together, we can build a strong Asia and a strong friendship that will last and be beneficial to the entire world, including to Asia. Thank you, Jehind.